Welcome back. This is 1.4, the rational numbers. So these are our objectives. So identifying irrational numbers, simplifying square roots, performing operations with square roots, and rationalizing denominators. So rational numbers are a set of numbers whose decimal places representations are neither termination or repeating. So that means they just continue to go on forever. So, for example, a well-known ir irrational number is pi because there's no last digit in the decimal representation and it is not a repeating decimal. So, square roots. So, remember, square roots are of non-negative numbers. You'll get a result out that is either a number or a number that's irrational. So just make a note of that, that not all square roots are irrational. So square roots, a perfect square is a number that is the square of a whole number. So for example, here's some perfect squares. So zero is zero squared, one is one squared, four is two squared, and nine is three squared. So our product rule for square roots means that if we have a and b inside the radical, we can separate it to the square root of a times square root of b, and we can do that in reverse. So if they're separated, we can combine them under one square root. All right, simplifying square roots. Oh. These were maybe supposed to be blank, but so 75 is 25 and three, and then we can separate it into the square root 25, square root three, and then we can take the square root of 25, which is the five, and then we keep the square root of three. And then for 500, we can separate it into 105, so if we do that, 105. So trying to separate it to see if you have a perfect square number that you can square root. So square root of 100 is 10, and then we just keep that square root of five. Square root of 17, it can only simplify to one and 17. So there's nothing we can square root, there's nothing we can simplify. So we just leave it as the square root of 17. Multiplying square roots, so we would just multiply those together. So two times five in our square root, which would be square root of 10. Now we can't simplify it, so we just leave it. All right, square root seven times seven, we get square root 49. Okay, and 49, we can square root it or it breaks down to the seven times seven, which will break out. So it's, your answer would just be seven. All right, multiplying these, so six times 12, we're gonna get 92, 72. Oh my goodness, 72, <laughs> not 92. My brain was thinking ahead here because it's nine and eight. So we break it down, it's nine and eight. So square root of nine times square root of eight. So square root of nine, so three square root eight, because that's three and three. Well, eight doesn't break down completely, but we can do two and four, so we can repeat that again. So three square root of four, square root of two. So that four breaks down in that two times two. So we multiply three times two, so we get six square root two. So you can break it down. You can also, so, square root 72 if you don't want to do like multiple steps so you can do the 9 and 8 so that's 3 and 3 
that's two and four, two and two. So you can do it all at once. So then you have three times two on the outside because those are pairs. And then you have that number two left by itself. So that's gonna be inside your radical. So that's another way to do it without having to break down your radical multiple times. All right, dividing square roots. So the quotient rule, so same as our multiplication rule, we can break them up individually or combine them together. So example of this, so 75 divided by three. So that would be square root of 25, which would be five, because that's that five and five to break out. All right, 90 and two. So if we did that, so we have 90 divided by two, which is square root 45. Well, square root 45 breaks down into nine and five, so we can break them apart. Nine is that three and three, so it'd be three square root five. All right, adding and subtracting. So when you're adding and subtracting, they have to have that same number underneath the radical, and then you would add the coefficients together. Same with subtract, they have to have that same number underneath, and then you would subtract the coefficients. All right, so looking at some examples, so that number is the same. So seven plus five square root two. So seven plus five is 12. So it'd be 12 square root two. All right, the next one, they have that same number underneath. So then we can subtract those, number, those coefficients in front. So two minus six square root five. So you'd be negative four square root five. All right, the next one, so we have it all combined. So it'd be three plus nine minus one, square root seven, because the square root seven is all the same. So we can combine our numbers. So three plus nine is 12, minus one is 11. So 11 square root seven. So the numbers have to be the same under the radical, otherwise you can't add them together. And then if they are, you just add or subtract the coefficients. All right, rationalizing the denominator. So we can't have radicals in our denominator. So we need to make it so it's not a radical in the bottom of our fractions. So what you do is you multiply by that same radical that's in the bottom. So... 15 over square root 6, you're going to multiply it by square root 6. So that makes it a perfect square on the bottom when you're dividing. So square root of 36 is 6. So 15 square root 6. So remember, with our division, we can split it up. So that means we're going to multiply by square root 5. So three times five, that's square root 15 on top, square root 25 on the bottom. So square root 15. And then the square root of 25 is five. And then we can't simplify because that 15 is trapped in that radical. And then it doesn't break down because it's three and five. All right, the next one, so timesing by square root eight square root eight. So 12 square root eight over square root 64. So 12 square root eight over eight. Now remember we can simplify our square root eight into square root four, square root two over eight. So it'd be 12 times 
to, did I do that as a four up here? Oh no, I did that, okay. <laughs> Just making sure that I didn't keep it as a four. So 12 times two, square root two over eight. So that makes 24 square root two over eight. Then we check, can we simplify the fraction? So 24 divided by eight is three. So it'd be three square root two as your answer. Because 24 divided by eight is three. So always check if you can simplify in any way possible. And then remember, if it's trapped in the radical, and you have a fraction, it's trapped. So you can't simplify like part B. You'd have to leave it as that square root 15 over five. All right, that is it for 1.4. So let me know if you have any questions and go ahead and work on your assignment.